Hey, what's up, YouTube? Okay, so let's get to this. I got this is like trickier to film than I thought, but I think I've got it now. Um, all right, so uh, I'm gonna start with uh, primitive forms today and kind of show an exercise that I think, like, if you're looking at the front end of a good drawing book. Um, um, getting really comfortable with this will we'll, um, pay off huge dividends later. Sorry, I'll clean up my desk later, but I'm sort of like finished a deadline and I'm kind of like starting to head into one. But um, yeah, so anyway, the um, first shape that we're going to use, which is going to be really important from when we start building figures, is just basically a simple square. And, um, you know, we'll, you can stretch and squish this a lot of different ways. Um, the, the big masses of the body generally are considered to not um, move, but they, they do. I mean, even like your rib cage has some flexibility, but again, it's kind of an advanced concept. So uh, anyway, you want to get really, really comfortable with just being able to... create cubes. I'll, I'll make some of these smaller since these are pretty basic ones, but uh, um, for people that maybe are at the very, 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 very beginning, um, um, you know, you've seen this stuff before, obviously, but it's not a bad idea to sometimes create like a center line and, and just get used to knowing um, that, uh, that made me think of something I wasn't thinking of. Oh, yeah, I mean, everybody's done this as a kid, I'm sure. Um, but, you know, you could do, like, the real, um, it's like, like a dice. And just make sure that you can feel inside it, um, you know, that this, this actually has um, mass. And again, this all starts to get really important. I don't know if I'll, if I'll actually get into um, the torso, but again, in case, I mean, you can see through this now and you see all the sides, um, but you still want to be able to know where, like the mid section is, and there's a few ways you can do it. Do like an X and have it come through and have a X in sort of perspective here, have it come through. Um, then, uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. let's draw this. Um. I don't normally put these, like, crossbars on my things, but, um, again, it's all good. Trying to show some examples. Let me uh, do that as like a tighter. Closer to it. Where this will start to come in handy is uh, if you think of a torso, Just gonna want to be able to to have that kind of stuff going on.
the side of this is also, yeah. Your cube, I guess. Can see these shapes. If you get really good at these, then um, you can start to do some pretty interesting figure figure drawing. You can see the, the foundation of it is still that square, which is a cube, which is a good form to know. <coughs> so, uh, let's see. It's funny because I watch those McFarlane videos. Some of them are pretty crude, like the drawings. I mean, the information that he gives is always good, but when I see him, I'm always like, oh man, I don't even know if I would post that. <laughs> it sounds bad to say, but you know, some of the drawings like are uh, kind of crazy. It sounds awful, but I mean, he, he's a million years ahead of me, so don't take it the wrong way. I'm just saying, I've had friends say that about it, where they, they see him, they kind of go, Oh, that yeah was yeah. I remember who it was. Yeah, but a friend of mine was kind of like going like, like the, the drawings are kind of, kind of crazy. Um, but you know, he's doing them in just like a few seconds. But anyway, yeah. Again, I mean, you just want to really, really get comfortable with um, this. I don't know if you call it a rectangle or a cube, but whatever it is. Um, a, a real good video for uh, like lighting cubes is the Scott Robertson videos. Um, but. Uh, yeah, I mean, fill, fill some pages full of these things, and um, I, I would suggest doing two, two boxes, so... Uh, um, you know, always try to pretend like you're, you've got, say, the, the top of the body, and then the, the bottom. Try to turn them and stuff, make them juxtaposed, and then you can kind of you know, imagine. There's another primitive, you're a cylinder, but yeah, you want to just get real good at that. I hope that I'm, I, I mean, I don't know if this is hard or easy for people to do, but um, worst case scenario, one thing that you can do, I'll show you a little, like a, an idea that might, um,
that's 11 minutes. Wow, that went fast. Um, I'm going to try to end these videos at 11 minutes in. Um, let me, uh... <laughs> that's pretty funny. Um, okay, hold on. There was one thing I was going to show you. It's a trick. Let me turn this off really fast. Um, you can take an eraser like this and divide it. Even you can even cut one in half and take a like a staple and plug it in both sides. Um, but you can kind of this is your cheap your cheap mannequin. See me? I'm completely destroying an eraser for for the sake of the video, but. It's all right. So if you think of this as like sort of a figure in your chest, and, but <clears throat> you know you can twist it and sort of see where the shoulders are, where the hips are. Hopefully this makes sense. <laughs> Yeah, like uh, you can you can cut an eraser in half and have the top part represent, you know, make it like uh, for a male. The the upper body is wider than the hips a bit. Kind of want to think of it more like this for a woman. Um, exaggerated, but you know, maybe something like this. You can. I mean, I I think a basic shape to get just comfortable with is a cube. But, um, you know, technically, I mean, I, I think that um, you'll also want to get pretty comfortable with these. What I, I draw a lot of my basic figures more uh, along the lines of this. can still feel this shape in here. So, you know, for something like this, like this figure. I hope that that helps a little bit for just some primitive um, shapes. Uh, again, I'm not a teacher, so it's kind of this is pretty challenging for me to come up with something uh, worthwhile for someone, um, you know, and share share part of the process. But we'll see. I'll, I'll watch it, and it's going to give me ideas for a future video. So, <clears throat> all right, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Later.